Hey Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean and I have today's word for the day. Today's passage is out of Genesis 47 verses 1 through 6. Let's read it and we'll dive in. Joseph went and told Pharaoh, My father and brothers with their flocks and herds and everything they own have come from the land of Canaan and are now in Goshen. He chose five of his brothers and presented them before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh asked the brothers, What is your occupation? Your servants are shepherds, they replied to Pharaoh, just as our fathers were before us. They also said to him, We have come to live here for a while because the famine is severe in Canaan and your servants' flocks have no pasture. So now please let your servants settle in Goshen. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you, and the land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brother in the best part of the land. Let them live in Goshen. And if you know of any among them with special ability, put them in charge of my own livestock. You see, this passage is about the Pharaoh giving Joseph and his father's family the land of Goshen to live in. This is actually a really cool thing that gets overlooked a lot. And I wanted to, to share some insight into this event. This passage actually shows us how the Israelites started living in Egypt before they were actually taken captive. This was their entry point into the incubator of God's promise to Abraham. And God's promise to Abraham was that his descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. God even changed Abram's name to Abraham because it means father of many. Now check this out. Joseph and his father's family of about 70 people moved to Egypt in the land of Goshen. And about 430 years later, under 400 years of slavery, by the time they actually left, there was over a million of them. It's kind of just a cool fact, but it's also very telling of the way God works. He is a promise keeper and his plans for your life will come through no matter how bad the situation may seem. Whoever you are, no matter what situation you are in, never underestimate God's ability to grow you where you are. Because you never know, the cruddy situation you find yourself in may just be the incubator to grow you into who God wants you to be. Be blessed, Calvary.